And you might say, Brother Snow, what are you talking about this morning? Uh, we're going into a new building. We asked those that are on Facebook, we're going to give you all the information about it. And we're coming out of the hotel, thank God. Amen. And if it's the Lord's will, the venture into the building will be successful. Amen. And that uh, we will be able to go ahead and sign the paperwork, and everything will be uh, okay, and we can move forward. Amen. But in moving forward, uh, we have to make sure, not that things are bad in our homes or in our congregations throughout the world, uh, but we can always do better. Amen. Amen. And we want to do better. Amen. Uh, we need to be uh, better uh, service of God Amen. than you were yesterday. Amen. Uh, you need to be a better husband, mm -hmm. a better wife, Amen. a better parent. Yes. We are always striving for perfection. Amen. Paul even wrote in Philippians, he said, Brethren, I count myself not to have apprehended, <coughs> but this one thing I do, I press toward the mark yes, for a high calling in God. Amen. Paul, what are you saying? I, I am uh, uh, one of the great apostles. Come on now. But I'm still not perfect. In Romans chapter 7, Paul said, when I would do good, Come on, preacher. evil is always yeah. present. Come yes, on, sir. There's always something uh, to try to hold us back, Brother Turner. Yes, sir. Something in our own spirits. Yes. Uh, sometimes other folk uh, try to hold us back. But we have to realize that even though we are going into a new edifice, and we are hoping that we're going in with the blessings of God, Amen. we have to be better toward uh, the good of God. Amen. Yes. We got to be uh, better servants to Christ. Yes. Yes. We got to be more faithful toward God. Okay. Yes. Going into another building uh, is not going to help if you hadn't picked up your spirituality if you are not more faithful than you are now. Yeah. A building is not going to do it. Yeah. It's going to take uh, the heartbeat of the building, mm -hmm. which is God. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we're going to have to understand that it's not going to be us that uh, cause the congregation to grow. But it's going to be the blessings from God. Yes, sir. Now, one thing about it now, uh, let me straighten it out, is that we are going to have to do some work. Amen. Uh -huh. And uh, when we do the work, I believe, if I stay with God's word, that God is going to bless us. Amen. So, Brother Smith, let's just go ahead and get started in this message this morning. Turn with me to Psalm 127. In verse number one, Psalm 27, 127, and verse number one. Now, I'm hoping that everyone had a good weekend uh, this week, and I know you had a pretty good week because you're still here. Amen. And, uh, and so, uh, I know that God has been good to you, looking good, hair home. Yeah, Amen. looking good this morning. Amen. Uh, good and happy. And so, you, I know in this sermon you're going to hear me. Amen. Yeah, because I'm going to keep preaching until I get some amen. All right. Uh, no and so uh, this will probably be the most amens I ever gotten because uh, I know that if, if you give me some amens, then it'll be short. <laughs> <laughs> if I got to struggle for some amens, uh, we'll be here all day. <laughs> we'll be here all day, brother. Okay, <laughs> yeah. And so uh, uh, this morning. Uh, we're going to talk about for a subject the Christian home and congregation. Amen. The Christian home and congregation. We never get so big that uh, no one could tell us how we need to do better. Amen. We always need to do better. Amen. Uh huh. My wife is always telling me what I need to do better. Uh huh. And so, uh, now some things I listen to, and some things I don't. Uh, and, uh, uh, but uh, when it comes to God, and it comes to his word, uh, you better always try to do Amen. better. Yes, uh -huh. See, uh, you got to listen to 
God's word. Amen. Now, I want you to pay attention to the psalmist. He says, unless the Lord builds the house. All right. All right. He's giving you the, that God, he's letting you know that God is the foundation of whatever you're trying to do. Amen. Going to a new building, God has to build it, even yeah. though uh, the physical structure is already there. Yeah. But when we go in, God has to be in us yes. in order for us, for the congregation to build up and to grow. God has to be the primary focus. Oh, yes. yes. Amen. Right we got to get serious about this Amen. thing. Amen. We got to get serious about how we live in the world. Yeah. Unless the Lord build the house, mm -hmm. they that labor in vain who build it. Yes, in other sir. words, if God in him, you can knock as many doors as you want to. All right. yeah. You can send out as many flyers if you want to. Come on, preacher. You can put as many uh, uh, posts out on Facebook as you want to. Oh, yes, but if God is not in the plane, if God is not the foundation, we labor in vain. All right. Amen. So what are you saying, Brother Smith? I'm trying to get us to get to heaven. Yes, sir. Yes. Everything that we do toward God is just another step to help us get to heaven. Oh, yeah. Do you know when you sin, you take a step back yes. from heaven? Right. Yes. Every time you act ugly, you take a step back from heaven. Yes. We need to be stepping forward and stepping up yes. toward heaven. Amen. Amen. Unless Amen. the Lord build a house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, they that labor who build it, uh, uh, they labor in vain. Yes. Mama. In other words, if you're not living for God and everything that you have done in your lifetime, mm -hmm. uh, when you think about, some of us can say that we've been in the church or coming to our church uh, uh, since a little kid going to Sunday school. Then we got baptized, and now we on up into a certain age, and some of us have been in the church 50, 60, 70 years, and, but if you were just coming to church and not coming to worship, you labor in vain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what I'm trying to get us to see is that we have to be spiritual first toward God. Yes, sir. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness, and all these things is going to be added to you. Yes, Matthew 6, 33. Preach. Why did Jesus say that? Jesus said, don't worry about these earthly things. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about your clothes. Don't worry about food. Don't worry about anything. He said, but if you seek me first, yeah. he said, I'm going to give you everything you need. Y'all see your side. Preach. 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 If you seek God first, if we seek God first. Yeah. We don't have to worry about Amen. what's going to happen Amen. in this new building. That's it. Amen. I'm just trying to give you a prayer. Yes, you know, uh, when we used to play football in high school, uh, we used to have a pep rally. Mm -hmm. How before we go in the game? Uh -huh. And before we go into this building, I'm trying to give you a pep rally. Yeah. Uh -huh. That pep rally is to get you excited, get you built up, oh, get you ready God. to go into the game. Yeah. yeah. That's why Paul could say in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, around verse 26, uh, he talked about uh, how he, he, don't, uh, uh, he doesn't fight in vain. Mm -hmm. He said, but fight I, not as one that beat against the earth. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, because uh, if you labor in vain, he said, I don't want to be a castaway. Yeah. That castaway means disqualified. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't want to be disqualified as Christians. Yes. We want to be qualified. Yes, Lord. We want to play according to the rules. Yes. yes. All right now. You know rules in this Christianity, right? Amen. Y'all know there's some rules. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. You can't I treat God as though there are no rules. Amen. The principle of this psalm is that all human efforts are in vain unless God has his blessing mm -hmm. or his blessings come from God. No matter what you try to do. If God is not in the plane, if you don't put God first, you're going to labor 
and in vain. Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Huh? Amen. Sometimes, bro, turn around on my job and I face and I'm standing before these uh, big servers and switches. And uh, sometimes you just can't start unplugging stuff. Huh? You shut the whole building down. You just can't start unplugging right. stuff. Uh -huh. And there are many situations I come up on. And uh, uh, you have to ask God. Sometimes I say, Lord, I'm stumped. Yeah. I say, Lord, you got to help me figure this out. Yes, sir. And I end up figuring it out. All right. Huh? Yes, Listen, uh, when you got God yes, on your side. Yes, sir. Uh, I was on a job Friday. And uh, I couldn't fix this camera. And the man at Home Depot, he said, well, these, uh, this big old camera, it hadn't worked in uh, six or seven years. Mm -hmm. So uh, I took that old one down and put up a new one and a monitor. But when I hooked it all up, Brother Turner, wasn't nothing working. Mm -hmm. And I'm about to pull my hair. I'm looking at everything, <laughs> trying everything, and I'm still not uh, getting a picture. Come on now. So I had another little guy with me. And then uh, this guy was kind of like people of the world. Yeah. Uh, now I'm not saying that's how he, how he was, I'm just saying what he said. Yeah. And he said, uh, uh, oh man, I already done put up a bet. You ain't gonna fix that camera. That camera ain't gonna never come on. You done put up a new one, but I'm telling you, that situation been dead for seven years. Mm. You can't fix it. Mm -hmm. uh, I already done put up a bit. You ain't gonna fix it. Good. And I said, okay. Uh huh. Yeah, right there. I said, okay. You got I'm gonna figure it out. Yeah. And so you sometimes you gotta be still. Yeah. And just concentrate on the facts of the situation. Yeah. And start going A, B, C, mm -hmm. D. You gotta yeah. analyze everything yeah. about what is going on. Sometimes we got situations in our lives we got to figure out. I start from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to start from the beginning. Yes. Yes. And I traced wow. all the way down. Yes. And I came up to one part that didn't fit. Mm -hmm. And the power went through. See, uh, the, the devil think he got power. Yeah. Uh -huh. right. Right. Yeah. But see, uh, it's got to be that natural power from God. Yes, sir. And so I saw the power coming up through the circuit board, Brother Turner. And when it got to the circuit board, uh, uh, then uh, the power transformed through the circuit board back out to the camera. Mm. And so I got to look and I said, that ought to work. That should be working. Something about this just ain't right. And then some said, disconnect that power and connect the power straight to the camera. Mm -hmm. There are some powers in your life that you got to disconnect. Yeah. Go straight from the original power. Yeah. I said, I'm going to get the original power. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to uh, bypass this power going through the circuit board. Yes, sir. Now, in common sense, it seems as though it's still supposed to work. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. But when I removed uh, the circuit board from the power, plugged it up to the camera that way, and then I heard uh, my helper say, I see you through that camera. Mm -hmm. I see you through that camera. And so that made me feel good. Yes. When you disconnect that artificial power, All right. God can say, now I see you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now I see you. Yes, sir. Yes. Y'all see your side. Yes, sir. We, God has been looking at us. Yes, sir. We want to make sure God can see us. Oh, yes. Huh? Yes. We want to make sure in such a way that God can see you. Yes. I'm not the power. Yes. Brother Turner is not the power. Yes, sir. Uh, Brother yes. Harry is not the power. Yes. Brother Larry is not the power. Yes. You are not the power. Yes, sir. And even though she may think it, London is not the power. <laughs> yes, when we see this. We got to understand something. Uh, uh, we got to understand that God, we have to use God for raising our families. Yes, sir. If God is not acknowledged, we have no reason to expect his blessing. All right. And the, and the best laid plans fail. Yes. Unless the crown, unless he crowns them with success. Okay. Yes. In other words, God has to be our 
focus. Yes, yes sir. Yes. And let the Lord build the house. Yes. They that they labor, did. they labor in vain. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Preach. You preach, preach. Even preach. Word. Even preach. when you preach. preach. Even when you think of the safety yes, sir. of your family. Yes, sir. Come on now. Uh, now, some people ain't gonna like this on Facebook and in this building. But I'm gonna say it in a way, brother Tim. Uh, I got another preaching buddy that uh, he's into protection. I mean, I'm gonna soften it up. Oh. He's into protection, <laughs> and he's gonna sell me forty cow worth of protection. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Some of y'all ain't gonna get that. I tell you out the church. <laughs> and uh, then I, I, I was supposed, I thought we was gonna hook up yesterday, but my wife told me I forgot about our anniversary plans. Uh huh. And so uh, I couldn't hook up with him yesterday. Uh -huh. But uh, I can have an arsenal in the house. Mm -hmm. yeah. But unless God build yeah. the house, yeah. unless God is in the house to yeah. protect the house, yeah. nothing that I have is going to be beneficial. Yeah. Yeah. Because God has to be your protector. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. God has to be the one uh, uh, when you on the highway. Yes. It's not you that you're such a great driver. Amen. God is protecting you yes, for things that can happen. Yes. It's not though that uh, everybody on the block uh, respects you. God is protecting you yes, yes. all this crime and killing. Yes. Uh, it's not you. Amen. You can walk in any yes. Walmart yes. and get shot down yes. like these people last week. Yes. You can be anywhere. God is protecting you. Yes. Yes. Listen, have mercy. Have mercy. For enriching the family. You want to yes. have a better family? Yes. Listen, you are, you've got to be more zealous toward God. Yes. Yeah. So many things that you want to go do, uh, you got to put God first. Yes. Yeah. You got too many, uh, you can put down that phone. Yes. And yes. pick up the Bible. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Sometimes my mother called me, uh, I'm on my way to work at 7 30 in the morning. After me about scripture. She up in the morning. That's a good habit to have. Yes. Yeah. Be able to read the Bible at all times. Yes. Listen, uh, church, we got to be more diligent toward uh, God's word if we want the proper instruction. Amen. Amen. Yes. Man, listen. Uh, a Christian must protect his earthly home. Amen. Choosing the Lord even. Uh, when the world does not. Amen. See, we got to be people that say that people on the outside know yes, that Lord. I am a servant of Christ. Yes, yes, Lord. See, when you go out with your friends, your friends still got to know there's a boundary between you and I. Yes. yes. They still have to know there are certain things that you won't do. Amen. There are certain things that they don't even ask you to, to do. do. Yes, sir. Now, if your friend come and you go over their house and they ask you, man, you want a girl? Then that means it's something about you yeah. that ain't right. That's uh -huh. it. It's something they don't respect about you. Yeah. Even though you are a Christian person yeah. of attitude, you ought to know right, right. to do better. Amen. Uh, we all got some kind of habits in our lives. Amen. Yeah. We all got something that we need to work on to fix. Yes. That may not be uh, a good example. Uh -huh. Sometimes we do things that we break the law, but it may be something that we've been doing for a long time. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. It may be something we've been doing for years, and we got to work our way away from it. In mm -hmm. our heart, we may think, oh, that ain't that bad. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we speed. We go over the speed limit. And we say, oh, that ain't that bad. It ain't hurting nothing. But it's against the law. Mm -hmm. And I'm just giving you an example yeah. of how things go that we have played. We pick and choose what we want to be considered a good thing or a bad thing. Amen. Amen. We got to stay with God's word. Amen. Amen. Listen, you got to make a choice. You remember in Joshua 24 and verse number 15? Joshua 24 and verse number 15? When Joshua stood before the Israelites, yeah. what did he say? He said, uh, choose who you will this day. Yes, sir. Huh? You got to make a choice yeah. on who you want to serve. Yeah. He 
He said, you can serve them folks that your father served that was on the other side of the flood. Right. Yes. He said, but for me and my house, yes, we're going to serve the Lord. Yes, sir. Got to make a choice. Mm -hmm. There's some choices that got to be made. Amen. The righteous are blessed by God. Amen. Yeah. Man, we got to get to understanding something. In Proverbs 10 and verse 25. Proverbs 10 and verse 25. An everlasting foundation is for the righteous. Uh -huh. See, if you want to be uh, have an everlasting foundation with God, mm -hmm. you got to be righteous. Amen. And before you can get righteous, you got to learn how to be right, Amen. not in your own sight. Amen. Right? See, the problem is we have skipped right <laughs> and jumped straight to righteous. <laughs> so you ain't even worried about if you're right. All right. Uh -huh. You gotta be right before you can be righteous. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Right is the root word of righteous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have to skip right and st jump straight to I'm righteous. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't figured out if you was right or not. Amen. Uh -huh. You just want to be perceived as being righteous. Right. Yes, yeah. You gotta be right first. Yeah. yeah. And so when we look at this. Yeah. Uh, Proverbs 3 and 33. Proverbs 3 and 33. The Lord curse is on the house of the wicked. Mm. But his blessing dwell of the righteous. Yes. God has given you the formula. Amen. He's given you the plan. If you want to have a successful home, yes. you got to get right with God. Amen. Faithfulness is shown in, uh, in your family. Yes. What are you talking about, Brother Smith? Faithfulness is shown. See, you got to pass faithfulness down. Uh -huh. You can't be a crook and ask your children, expect them to be righteous when you're not right. Amen. Huh? Amen. See, uh, faithfulness is the parents got to show faithfulness so it'll be automatic for the kids. Amen. I watched my daddy for years work on cars. So it was automatic for me to know how to work on a car. Amen. My dad and mother went to church all my life. It is natural for me to be a worshiper of God. Amen. Because that's what I saw. Amen. I learned how to be faithful toward God. Amen. We got to teach our children how to be faithful toward God. Amen. Right. What you talking about, brother? Smith? Second Timothy. Chapter 1. All right. 2 Timothy chapter 1, beginning at verse uh, number 5. 2 Timothy chapter 1. Actually, we're going to begin at verse number 3. 2 Timothy chapter 1, beginning at verse number 3. Paul writes to his son uh, in the Gospel of Timothy. He said, I thank God, who I serve with pure conscience, mm -hmm. as my uh, forefathers did. As without ceasing, I remember you in my prayers night and day. Yes. This is Paul talking about his son in the gospel, Timothy. Yes, sir. He said, greatly desiring I to see you, being mindful of your tears, yes. uh, that I may be filled with joy. Yes, he sir. said, when I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in me. Where yes. is it? Paul says, it brings joy, tears to my eyes yes, when I see how faithful you are toward God. Yes, sir. Beautiful. He said, you are a servant of Christ. Oh, yes. He said, you are uh, one of my sons in the gospel. And when I see your faithfulness toward God, it brings tears to my eyes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then he says, well, look what he said. He said, which dwell first in your grandma. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. He said, I see your faith. I see your faith, Timothy. Yeah. He said, and I, I bring tears to my eyes when I see how faithful you are toward God. Yeah. He said, but I want you to know, I know it started with your grandma. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. So you gotta start yeah. passing yeah. stuff down yeah. in the house. Yeah. 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 He said, but not only your grandma. He said, but I know it's twelve yeah. in your mama also. Yeah. Oh, grandmama hurts. gave it to your mama, your mama gave it to you. Yes, All right. Yes. We got to start passing that down. Yes, sir. Quit passing them ugly ways down. Yes, sir. Quit passing that cussing down. Quit yes, passing that them frowns down. Yes, sir. Quit passing that cussing down, bro. Turn up. 
past them frowns and them ugly attitudes and them ugly ways we got from mama and grandma. Yes. Yes. So you gotta learn how to be in the house of God and except God build a house. Yes, yes. They don't labor, labor in vain. Yes. God, I'm hoping, I, sometimes preachers get up and say, I ain't trying to step on no toes. I'm trying to step on toes this morning, brother. Come on now. Uh -huh. I'm, stepping on, the word. Word. I'm stepping on toes this morning. I'm stepping on toes. I'm just stepping on my own toes. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. you, you got to be some toe steppers. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Yes, Lord. The Christian home relies on Christ for its resources. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The Christian home relies on Christ yes, for its resource. Yes, sir. You remember in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 1 through 4. I want you to turn that with me. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 1 I through I, I, 4. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, I, verses 1 through 4. Listen at Paul uh, as he writes to the church at Corinth. He said, moreover, brother, I do not want you to be unaware that all our fathers were under the cloud. Uh -huh. Now, he's talking about the Israelites. Uh -huh. And he's talking about, you remember, in the daytime, they were led by a pillar of fire in the sky. Yes. That's the cloud. Yes. And then at nighttime, they were led by a shining, a bright cloud that led them at night. Yes, that's why Paul says uh, we were all under the cloud. Yes. That's the cloud he's talking about. Yes. And then he says, uh, uh, all were baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Mm -hmm. yes. When they crossed uh, across the Red Sea. Yes. When they crossed across Jordan. And then he says, uh, all ate the same spiritual food. Wait a minute now. Come on. Well, we got to start eating the same spiritual food. All right. All right. Come on. Uh -huh. We gotta eat the same spiritual food. Yes, sir. Yeah. Listen, we 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 gotta get on the same path of yeah. the same diet. Oh, that, I don't wanna talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> Some folks don't wanna talk about that. Because most men who won't get off the diet. Right? Uh, listen. Uh, and all drink the same spiritual drink. Yes, sir. Now some of us are drinking another kind of spirit drink. All right. All right. <laughs> Got to get off of that drink. Yeah. Yeah. And get on the spiritual drink. Yeah. Yeah. We, you need to get on the Holy Spirit if you want to feel high. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. Stop right. giving you a six pack. Yeah. So you can feel happy. Yeah. Get on God so you can feel yeah. happy. Yeah. He said, "For they drank of that a spiritual rock that followed them." Uh, that rock was Christ. Yes. I read that verse. Amen. What rock are you talking about? Yeah. What rock are you talking about? Jesus. Now remember now, we're talking about the resources. Mm -hmm. Resources is what we're talking about. Yes. And Paul says, your resources were that spiritual rock. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. Now you remember that in Exodus chapter 15, uh, you remember that uh, what did, what did uh, God tell uh, Moses to do? In Exodus, I believe, chapter 17 and verse 5, he told him, that's it, Exodus 17 and verse 5, he told uh, Moses, he said, go over and uh, strike that rock. Mm -hmm. And when you strike the rock, water is going to flow from the rock right. uh -huh, mm -hmm. to feed them and all the children of Israel mm -hmm. and all of the cattle. Okay. So wait a minute now. I want you to hear this resource. Y'all looking at me funny. I'm going to fix it in just a minute. Now, I'm going to help you out in a minute. Listen. So that rock that was placed, <coughs> that rock, we believe there were over millions of Israelites that Moses had to uh, guide. And so God took a rock and brought rod from that rock to feed all of those people yeah. and the animals. So you know that had to be some, a rock with a whole lot of water coming. Oh, yeah. Right? Right. That was the resources. Yeah. Uh, y'all got it, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, I know y'all was uh, y'all looking at me funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> y'all looking at me funny. Yeah. Y'all looking at me like, what's up? Now, I thought that God most got in trouble for yeah. striking the rock. That's yeah. it. Uh -huh. That's yeah. But he did get in trouble uh -huh. for striking the rock. Right. He didn't get in trouble because he didn't obey God. Amen. In Exodus. God told Moses to strike the rock. Yes. 
But in Numbers, God told Moses to speak to the rock. Yes. But Moses did what he wanted to do. Moses I followed the old instructions that God gave me. Right. He didn't tell Moses to strike the rock as he did in Exodus. Right. And now was he told him to speak to the All rock. Preach right. yeah, 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 yeah. us a chance. And then, but God, <laughs> see, God has been telling us to do a certain thing. We've been doing it uh -oh, our own way. Uh -oh. Yes, sir. Amen. And God right. is mercy. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Mm. When Moses still struck that rock, Guess what? God still let water flow from that yes, rock. Sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But see, yes, there was right. still consequences yes, of yes, that yes, strike. Yes, that yes, right, right. Right. He said, because you did sanctify me in the sight of the people. Mm -hmm. You've been with these people all these years. Mm -hmm. Putting up with all these personalities. Mm -hmm. Putting up with them I, I, with a golden can. Mm -hmm. All this disrespect back to you and to me. Yes. But you didn't sanctify me, Moses. Right. You didn't speak to the rock. Yes. You smoked the rock. Yes. And so you, since you smoked the rock, what I promised you, you ain't going to be able to do. Yes, sir. He said, I promise you that uh, that these people was going to inherit the land. Yes. And they are. Yes. But you just not going to go over to see. All right. And then God, oh, wait a minute now. Then God took him up. Said, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna give you, and I'm gonna show you that I still got you, Moses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to let the people know that you're gonna have to obey but me. Yeah. yeah. Sir, so God it. took him up and God yeah. took him up to a high mountain Personal. and buried him. Amen. Nobody could find his grave to right. this day. Mm -hmm. But guess what? He said, Well, what happened to Moses? Do you remember? That on the day of transfiguration, mm -hmm. that as Jesus, uh, uh, Peter, and John went up to the mountain that they called transfiguration, mm -hmm. the home of Jesus. Yes. All right. And so when it got up to the mountain, yeah. and uh, 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 God, Jesus, was transformed, transfigured. Yeah. And he went up, a great cloud came down. Right. Yeah. And then Peter said, in the midst of the cloud, yes. I see a large. Yeah. I see Moses. Oh, yeah. There he is. There he is. Listen. Glory to We got to understand something. Hallelujah. We got to understand something. You got to stay with God. Amen. Amen. Then all of this as we get uh, to our clothes. Yes, sir. Uh, am I pumping y'all up? Yes. Sir. Is, this, is this a good pep rally? Yes, sir. All right. All right. All right. Ready to go for a turn. Ready to go. 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 When we look at something. Christians must protect, a Christian must protect his congregational home. Yeah. See, we are so uh, emanate a structure on protecting our uh, family structure. Yeah. But we forget about our congregational structure. Yeah. This is our family. Yeah. Yeah. You, this is not the place where you act crazy. Yeah. It's not the place where you act a nut. Mm -hmm. This is not the place that you gossip and fight. Mm -hmm. This is the house of God. Amen. This is a family. Yeah. If I hurt Brother Turner, I hurt myself. Amen. Huh? Yeah. If I hurt you, yeah. if I don't participate, I am not participating in my family structure. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Preach. We are Preach. family. Yes, sir. Yes. Tell me, come up here. We gotta, you gotta have in your mind that this is my family. Yes, yeah. sir. Listen, now, uh, if you treat your, 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 well, your residence, if you treat that bad, you got to straighten that out too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you come into the house of God, you got to understand that we are all family. Amen. We got to be looking out for one another. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you hurt, I hurt. Amen. If I hurt, you hurt. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Yeah. We got to, uh, uh, if somebody looking bad one day, yeah. you, you don't go and say, they must have been out all night. <laughs> you might have to go to him and say, hey, you all right? Amen. Huh? You all right? If somebody's sleeping in church, you don't go and gossip about them. Yeah. You go and ask them, you all right? Amen. Whatever a person's situation is, assume not to assume. Yeah. Preach, preach, that was good. Don't assume anything. That's right. 
But a person could be going through something. Amen. Amen. First thing you need to do is analyze, is that that person's normal behavior? Amen. Yeah. And if it's not their normal behavior, that ought to be your first sign to say, wait a minute, let me check out the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before I jump to a conclusion. Amen. Mm -hmm. That'll save us a lot of embarrassment. Yeah. yeah. But what I want us to do is to be more diligent toward one another. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. In Acts chapter 2 and verse number 44. Acts 2 and verse number 44. Now all who believe were together. Yeah. Now, Brother Tim, you have that. Thanks, Tim. Acts 2 and verse number 44. I'm going to have to work you some, Carl. Uh, I'm going to have to work you some. Uh, you got me? Acts 2 and verse number 44. Read. And they continued steadfast. 44. Oh, oh, 44. Yeah. I guess. Uh-huh. And all that believed. There you go. We're together. Wait a minute now. Yeah. What's our key word? Believe and together. And together. Yeah. Yeah. They believe and we're together. Yeah. When we're going into this new edifice. We all got to believe. Yeah. And we all got to be together. Yeah. Yes, sir. The only way we're going to make it is that we all believe. Yeah. And yeah. that we all are together. Read, Brother Turner. Wait a minute, they had the same mindset. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Read, Brother Turner. And sold their possessions and oh, goods. Wait a minute. Read. It's getting rough. Read. And sold their possessions uh -huh. and goods. Uh huh. And parted them to all men. Who had need? As every man had need. Yeah. Uh huh. Listen. Uh -huh. Man, these people were believers, uh -huh. they were all together. They all had their mindset on, we're going to make this congregation, this church grow. Amen. And guess what? They wanted to make sure nobody suffered. Yeah. So guess what they did? For, in order for us all to be able to survive, if I got to sell some of my stuff and get the money to help you out, to come up to where I am, that's what they did. Amen. Man, you be hard for but man said his Cadillac today. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> You be hard pressed. You be hard pressed. You be hard pressed for some of us to sell anything. Yeah. Or to just give something away uh -huh. today. Uh -huh. Read, Brother Turner. And they continued daily. All right, they continued daily. With one of God. They was all on the same page. Uh -huh. In the temple. Uh-huh. And bringing bread from the house to house. Fellowship. Oh, Read. They ate their food with gladness yeah. and simplicity of heart. Mm -hmm. Verse 47. Praising God mm -hmm. and having favor with all the people. What did they do? They praised God. Amen. Huh? Amen. When you praise God and having favor with all the people. All right. We need, uh, all of us need to praise God. Amen. All of us need to have favor with God. Amen. Huh? We need to praise God. Have favor with the God. Yes. We want the congregation to grow. Yes. What did they do? They praise God. Yes. Have the favor with God. Oh, they yes. praise God. Yes. And what did he do? And he added to the church yes. daily. Yes. Yes. Son, as soon as he said. Amen. Yes. 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 Feel the glory to God. Yes, In sir. Hebrews 13 and verse 1. Let brotherly love contend. Huh? Oh, Hebrews yes. 13 and 1. Let brother, I'm picking up the space now. Let brotherly love continue. Yes. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse number 11 and verse number 13 through 13. 1 Corinthians uh, uh, first, uh, 11. I want you to turn with me now. Uh, y'all got a little bit more time. All right. Just a little bit more time. Yes, sir. Are y'all all pepped out? Huh? <laughs> Are y'all all pepped out? Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Some got pepped out. You don't want the pep rally. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, ready. You're ready to rally to the door. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 11 through 13, look what Paul says. I'm going to start at verse 10. Paul says, now I plead with you, brother, yeah. by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. that you all speak the what? The same, same thing. thing. Yes. And there be no what? Division yes. among you. Yes. But that you be what? Perfectly joined together in yes. what? The same mind yes. and the same judgment. Yes. Church, we got to be on the same page. Amen. Yeah. Preach. Come on, preacher. Then Paul said, wait a minute. I heard y'all got some problems. Uh -huh. 
Mm. One thing I don't ever want is somebody to hear out in the, I, I'm always with the preachers. And I hear about church problems, and I think it's a shame. I don't ever want to hear about uh, uh, to mess with Dallas Hillside uh, in the community. Amen. Among the preachers. Yeah. That we're not all speaking it's the same, same thing. thing. Yes. All right. yeah. I don't want nobody to say nothing corrupt yeah. about Dallas Hillside. As long as we speak the same thing yes. and be perfectly joined together yes. in the same mind yes. and in the same judgment. Amen. What has been declared unto me uh, concerning you, my brother, by those of Chloe's house uh, that are contention uh, among you. Now, some say that I am of a, a Paul. Yes. And some say that I am of a Paul. Yes. Or some say that I am Cephas, uh -huh. which is Paul. And yeah. some say I am a Christ. Yeah. We wouldn't make it if somebody said, well, I support Brother Smith. And then somebody said, well, no, I support Brother Turner. Yeah. And then somebody said, well, no, I support Brother Lack. Yeah. And then somebody else said, no, I support Brother Lack. Yeah. Church can't function that way. Yeah. Church can't function that way. All right. We all have to be on the same mind in the same judgment. Yeah. We all got to be, uh, see, what happens in church uh, organizations are that you get a few people together and start trying to uh, build a coup up against the organization of the church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you ought to be this. You ought to be that. I don't seen that so much in church. You ought to be this. You ought to be that. Behind closed doors, on the phone, all that do is bring up strife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've got it. Amen. But if you stay on the same mind. That's it. In the same judgment. Yes, sir. If there'll be no division among you. Yes, yes, sir. See him, preacher. Like See, he said, is Christ, Christ divided? No, sir. Can you find some division in Christ? No, sir. Wait a minute now. He said, was Paul crucified for you? No. Was Brother Smith crucified for you? No, Why are you picking Brother Smith? Was no. Brother Turner crucified for you? No, Why are you picking Brother Turner? Christ was crucified for you. Yes. You don't pick somebody, you pick Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Then, uh, and then when we see, we got to make sure that we stay with God at all times. Amen. Look what he says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse number 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse number 1. He says, and I, brother, could not speak to you uh, as to spiritual people. But as to carnal, as babes in Christ. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. I don't want nobody ever to get to the point where they feel like they can't speak to me. Amen. In a spiritual manner. Amen. Huh? Yes. Have you ever tried to talk to somebody that was acting crazy in a spiritual manner and all they did was kept cussing? <laughs> oh. Huh? It's hard to have a conversation with a person like that. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? That's it. In school, you, you're trying to talk sense to a person that's mad at you and you don't know why. Huh? I know some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, sure. huh? Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. In life, that happens a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he said, Paul is talking to Christian folk. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said, man, I can't even talk to y'all spiritually. And y'all supposed to be some spiritual people. Mm -hmm. He said, last time I came, I couldn't even have no conversation spiritually with you guys. He said, I, I come again, and I still can't talk to y'all right. as spiritual people. Oh, right. y'all like babies. Yeah. You still on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Grown folks. Mm -hmm. On spiritual bottoms. Oh, mm -hmm. Then he said, I fed you with milk. Mm -hmm. uh, not with solid food. Mm -hmm. For until now, you were not able to receive it. And even now, you are still not able to eat right, solid food. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, you was a baby. Mm -hmm. And uh, you supposed to be on milk. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said, but at a certain time in a baby's life, that baby graduates to solid food. Yeah. Yes. He said, you spiritual Christians, you guys have still not graduated to solid food. All right. Some of us are still on milk. All right, preacher. Listen, Listen, I want y'all to take this home. He said, well, you are still carnal. Yes. That means word. Mm -hmm. yes. He said, for what there are envy. Uh-oh. Strife. I'm not preaching. Preach the preaching. Division word. among you. Right. Yes. Are you not carnal? Come on. Yes. and behaving like mere men. Mm -hmm. yes. so you don't have no spirit of God in you. Mm -hmm. oh, then wait a minute now. Mm -hmm. He said, for one say that I am a Paul. Mm -hmm. And another say I am a Paul. Yes. And are you, aren't you carnal? Mm -hmm. He said, who then is Paul? And who is a Paul? 
but ministers through whom you believe as the Lord gave. Yes. Then he says, wait a minute now. What are you trying to say, Paul? He said, don't y'all get all caught up on the men at the church. All right. He says, now, uh, Brother Smith may be trying to do his best as a good preacher towards you. You may really like him. He might be a nice guy. Yeah. And then he says, uh, then Brother Turner, he's a preacher in the church. Yeah. He might be a nice guy. Yeah. And you might like him. Might be fun. Make you laugh. <laughs> he said, but who is he? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. Who am Paul? He said, who is a Paul? Yeah. He said, all we are is ministers. Yes. He said, I plant a pile of water. Yes, sir. He said, well, it's going to take God to get it in for you. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I want y'all to hear me now. Preach it, Brother Larry. I want y'all to hear me now. When we go in this new building, God yes, is going to have to give yes, the yes. increase. Yes. Yes. Listen, Preach. I got some more stuff, but I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a break. I want you to understand this. Your expectations should be for a heavenly home. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I want your expectation. I want that's you to raise your expectations. Up. That's yes, sir. I want you to just stop coming into the service so that you can satisfy your conscience. Yeah. But I want you to be able to satisfy God Amen. in your way Amen. that you worship Him. Yeah. yeah. The only person that needs, when we walk out, that needs to be satisfied yes, is God. Yes. Sir. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Yeah. 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 Yes. You can't have a church without God the Son. That's yes. right. You can't have uh, the Spirit in the church without the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And you can't have God the Father without God the Son. That's yes. right. Uh -huh. yeah. Amen. So, church, today. I want you to know something. In 2 Corinthians, we're going to go. In 2 yeah. Corinthians, chapter 5, yeah. and verse number 1. 2 Corinthians, chapter 5. I'm sorry, yeah. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse number 1. Yeah. Your expectations have to be up for a heavenly home. Mm -hmm. yeah. For we know that if this earthly house, yes. uh, 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 this tent uh, is destroyed, yes, we have a building of God, yes. a house not made with hands, yes, yes, eternal into the heaven. Yes, with this old tent. Yes, yes sir. Huh? We have All a tent right, meeting for the church. Right. church. We're about to have a tent meeting yes. for the churches of Christ in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Yes. And uh, and so they was talking yesterday uh, about that old tent. They had to go and pull that old tent out and wash that tent. Mm -hmm. And then they want to put that tent up. And then they're gonna have to break that tent down. Mm -hmm. This old tent we live in. See, this old oh, body, uh, this old oh, body is just a tent. Uh, it's That's just a tent. Yeah, one day that. this old tent is gonna have to be broken down. Yeah. Yeah. Paul said, when they break this tent down, yeah. he said we gotta build a house, not made with hands, yeah. and turn on into yeah. the house. Yeah. And remember yeah. that. Huh? Yeah. Remember what John told his disciples. Come he said, "Let not your heart be troubled. Yeah. Yeah. You believe yeah. in God, believe also in me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and going down that watery grave of baptism. That being yes. desire, I'm going to ask you to stand and sing the song as we uh, sing the song of invitation. Somebody's knocking at your door. 